Welcome to Perspective Now. I'm Marcus, and I'm here with none other than Nunyub. How's it going, Nunyub? Marcus, oh my gosh, it's so good. I am so excited to be here to talk to you about the action movies of 1984. Yeah! Yeah! There's so much action. Let's do it. Let's jump right into the monitor. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the monitor and now. I've heard this is a good year for action movies. I, I'm not sure, but I feel like I've heard that before. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to your not being disappointed. Awesome. Let's go ahead and watch the first one. Let's check that out. Here we go. Any minute. The first one. Allegedly. It's uh, playing real slow. It's like in slow motion. It was definitely in slow motion. Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. Okay, we're, we're in business. Chuck Norris is James Brett. Decorated war hero. Ex-prisoner of war. You know, I love this movie. An on a mission. Obviously. One man who couldn't forget the Americans. That He's like, behind. I don't take the stairs. I take the zip line without a zip. Wrong answer. I like loved this movie. I thought he was so awesome, man. To uncover the truth and free the soldiers. We're going home. Missing in action. Damn right. James Damn right. Declares war. The war isn't over until the last man comes home. America had no more heroes. Until now. Whoa. Missing in action. I mean, I, feel, I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of rads on this one, on this year, but I'm going to go and give it a rad. Yeah. Rad. I mean, you had me at Chuck. It's rad. Yeah. I mean, we can't. Yeah. Rad. It was a good preview. Great editing. Cool music. Definitely 80s. And uh, it's Chuck Norris. What can you say? So much. So many lists about Chuck Norris. All of them absolutely necessary. Yeah. That said, oh. this next one's a little near and dear to my heart. Oh. This is it. Oh. This is the end of the line. Tell me. Say what you will. For Daniel LaRusso, about all the reboots like these days, but the future seem far from Cobra Kai is pretty badass. Is it is badass. I think hey, the movie's better, hard, but, but I mean, it is a movie. Great. We're not quitters, are yeah. we? Until he met the right I like girl. the I like the new one. I just don't, you know. Ralph Macchio. But that only angers yeah. the wrong guy. This is a terrible movie about some new kid moving into town stealing your girlfriend. Am I right? <laughs> Yeah, I lived this movie over and over when I was a kid. It was like my life. Yeah. It was amazing. He tried to warn him, but Daniel just kept coming back. And then he got his, like, friend who taught him how to kick his ass. Yeah. I mean, again, this is just really a tough, tough movie to watch. Poor Johnny, am I right? How did you do that? Don't know. It's sad. Johnny got his ass beat, and then he ended up... I actually really liked... How do I know if my picture yeah. is the right one? If come from inside of you, always right on. Pat Morita. Classic. Lesson about the balance, not just karate. Lesson for all life. White train. So I won't have to fight. You know another movie that's like this? Sidekick with Chuck Norris. Points or no points. Did you ever see that? I don't have much of a cheer section. I think it's really terrible. Did you see it really? It will be in danger. I don't know if I've seen something. It's the same, pretty much the same thing. And 
most of all, in his mind. Concentrate, focus, power. Remember, balance. No mercy. Columbia Pictures presents The Karate Kid. Hey, what kind of belt do you have? Canvas. You like? Canvas. <laughs> JC Penny, 398. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, this movie, it's weird because that was a, it's great preview. It's a great movie. And, uh, I've, uh, it does something interesting in cinema. It's like, it is sort of like the fish out of water thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And the kid, and it, everything feels so big in this movie. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, everything feels like it's always overwhelming Ralph Macchio. Mm -hmm. And it's so, it's like this huge goal to you know, conquer this. Anyway, whatever. It's completely rad, but I'm going to give it a gotta have it. That's what I'm going to Gotta have it. Gotta yeah. have it. Yeah. Uh, and we do. The world needs it. The world's gotta have it because, again, the story I was just, uh, you know, in jest earlier, taking the side of Johnny, though I think the new Cobra Kai show does a great job of, like, taking that angle of telling the other side of that story. Uh, whole concept of strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Again, Cobra Kai. Such a good storyline and take like the opposite to what was already prevalent in the movie. Uh, with that all said, I absolutely love it. It's rad. Yeah. Rad. Yeah. Wow. Two great movies so far. What a good yeah. year. Uh, and it keeps coming here. And subscribe. Keeps coming. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe to Perspective Now. In this city. Oh shit, dude. No way. Of darkness. Someone is this one might become Sarah a thing. Connor. Yeah. Sarah Connor. Yes. Sarah Connor, 35, brutally shot to death in her home. Oh. You're dead, honey. <laughs> What's this? Dead girl, too. Sarah Louise Connor. Is this right? Of course, we'll have more on this late-breaking story as it comes in. She that would be so freaky. Why, but it's her he's after. Did you reach the next girl yet? No, I keep getting an answer machine. Little Lance. I'm really scared. I think that there's somebody after me. And no one can help her. Except for one man. Oh, shit! It's a sign to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. <laughs> This isn't true. How could that man just get up after you did? It's not a man. A machine. It's a terminator. Underneath it's a hyper alloy combat chest. Microprocessor controlled. Fully armored. Very tough. But outside it's living human tissue. They cannot make things like that yet. Not yet. Not for about 40 years. Are you saying it's from the future? They came to fight. For the one woman who could save their future. And this uh, computer thinks it can win by uh, killing the mother of its enemy. One came to protect her. I came across time for you, Sarah. The other to kill her. Arnold Schwarzenegger is... The Terminator. Inhuman. Relentless. Unstoppable. He has only one purpose. Murder. Can you stop it? I don't know. And now Sarah Connor's world has become a battlefield <laughs> with her at ground zero and the Terminator closing in. An adventure unlike anything you've ever seen before. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the Terminator. Go ahead. You know, I, I think that's going to be a thing. I think it's going to be a, a big deal. I think that might just catapult this guy into becoming governor someday. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I realize that I've seen uh, 
Terminator 2 way more than I've seen the original Terminator. And so uh, this movie, I feel like, is lost to that one. I, but this seems better than that. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little torn here. I just think they're all rad. I, uh, as a kid, I remember watching this thinking it was awesome, really gritty, and uh, it still is. It's like extra dark, it's extra gritty, and then the sequel is like full-on Hollywood blockbuster, like they just took it and made it like Jurassic Park or something, you know? And Mm -hmm. it's an awesome movie, but this one has like that, the bones of it being like cool, and like kind of like, I don't know, I... Today, if someone was like, well, what do you want to watch? You want to watch one or the other? Like, right now, I'd be like, yeah, let's watch Terminator 2. But yeah. uh, You're not I into love that this. dark moment in life. No, I do love and this I like movie. this. Yeah, this is great. And it's yeah. completely it's completely rad. Yeah. Awesome narrator. Awesome preview. Everything about it. The way they laid it out. Excellent. Yeah. You know, it was written by James Cameron. Yeah. Huh. All that they've loved. Oh my god. All that they've fought for. All that they've stood for will now be put to the test. Star Trek 3, the search for Spock. The word, sir? The word? Is no. I am therefore going anyway. You do this, you'll never sit in the captain's chair again. Engage auto systems. Clear all more. Cleared, sir. One quarter impulse power. Someone is stealing the Enterprise. Warp speed. <laughs> I think Alberta Bracer. She's arming torpedoes. Shields up. The shield's not responsive. Fuck! What did he say? We're a sitting duck. Join us on this, the final voyage of the Starship Enterprise. It's not the final. Spoiler Star alert. Trek 3, the search for Spock. It's not the, the final adventure. one. You know, this one's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it's the my favorite, though. I don't think by far far if i remember right i like the wrath of khan and then i like the one where they go to new york that's not this one right they would have showed new york anyway yeah cool i don't know i love star trek but i've been giving them all rads and all that so i'm gonna give it a uh i'm gonna give it a hot that's hot that's hot Hmm. you know i enjoy the universe i enjoy watching this movie but it's still just not doing it for me right now i'm gonna go with meh of the of them, nah. it's a meh. Continues. Yeah. But it's, it's still awesome. Last. You should see them. They're just not as awesome. Is the logic from you? From me. Please. Don't. Are we watching the same preview? No. Oh. Oh. He's making a new one. Can you believe that? He's 78 or something. He's making a new one. Yeah. From Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. Indiana Jones. This movie is pretty phenomenal. The it really There's is. Not, I, I like this one more than the other one. Well, duh. You will, Dr. Yeah. Jones. <laughs> I guess in the first one, you know, the story is is that he pulled out his gun and shot the guy, but like he yeah. came up with that. He's like he wouldn't fight him. He'd just shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. Now I, I mean I, I don't appreciate the <laughs> fact that in the first one he's shooting some Egyptian guy and he's just stealing all the stuff from Egypt. I never liked that again. He's just thinks he can come in raid everything but in this case he's somewhere else it's a lot cooler and uh god indiana jones and the, the freaking ride and i've been privileged enough to go to disneyland there's this whole temple of doom ride or i'm saying it wrong but it's uh so fun so much fun to watch harrison ford i look forward to seeing the new one this is rad, rad. that guy's 
post heart removal, right? Yeah. I love this movie. It's so good. What can you do, man? It's awesome. It's completely, completely epic. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Epic is the perfect term. Yeah. This is quite the year. It's an amazing year. It's an amazing year. She came halfway across the universe in search of a cosmic power source that could save her world from destruction. Who is she? Who on earth are you? You know, I think I recognize the costume. From the producers of Superman, Alexander Solkind presents Supergirl in her first great adventure. Wait a minute, wait one minute. I mean, you can do the whole number, leave the whole building to a single bound, you can look right through things. Yes. Ben steel bars? Yes. Like Superman. He's my cousin. Whoa. Supergirl, sent to Earth on a secret mission that brings her face to face with diabolical villains. I'm considering nothing less than world domination. Unspeakable evil. And super action. You've had your fun, Selena. The game is finished. Starring Faye Nunaway. Now I am really upset. Peter O'Toole. My neighbors know the criminals, the corrupt, the evil. They're here, over the hill there, with no way out. Peter Cook. What's in it for me? Me. Brenda Vaccaro. <laughs> Mark McClure. Hi, Jimmy Olsen, photographer. Hart Buckner. And introducing Helen Slater as Supergirl. Have you seen this? I saw it. I um I didn't really like it very much when I was a kid. I kind of like just don't I don't really know what to say. It's cool. It looks okay right now. I'm not really that thrilled about it. Because I like Superman and I like Christopher Reeve a lot. Reeves. But uh I feel like this one is definitely in that batch, but it's like the lowest c- cool one, you know? And it's not because mm-hmm. she's it's a woman. That's not it. Mm-hmm. But I kinda wanna watch it again. Just, I'm gonna kind of just give it a meh. I can't really meh. do much else there. Yeah, I agree you. with that. I agree with that, but I'll give it a that's hot. Okay. That's hot. I mean, hot. definitely a good cast. Yeah. You know, and good special effects and all that. I just hadn't seen it In I his first it adventure, then. he stole the yeah. treasure of three kings. And crushed the empire of an evil sorcerer. Wow. Big year for But his biggest Arnie. triumph was at the box office. Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger is back as Conan. The biggest destroyer. triumph was at the box office. To join forces with a wizard, and a warrior, a runaway, and a renegade. Oh, Grace Jones. Pursued by the armies of hostile kingdoms, they must stop a queen who will rule the world or destroy it. 
band of outcasts in a battle to free the earth. Bruce Jones, Wilk Chamberlain, Mako, Sarah Douglas, and Arnold Schwarzenegger as Conan, the Destroyer. The all-new adventures of the most powerful legend of them all. It's it, it's hard to critique these, but again, this is like the least of the Conan. Yeah. Still rad. Yeah. Rad. Yeah. I, but I'm feeling you on that one, and so I'm, it is rad. It is those like again right at the end his eyes is doing all those like you know sword mm -hmm. twists pretty rad but i'm just not feeling it in the moment just for now i'm gonna give it a meh, <laughs> meh. Okay. yeah you can do that you know why not yeah conan the destroyer In this part of the city, every street is a dead end. On every corner, something to buy. In every alley, another way to die, to survive. You've got to be the best. Go back, let's go to the park! That's not nice! Just like the alley cat. Alley Cat, this lady owns the night. On the streets, where even the predators become victims. I thought you boys wanted to play. She knows how to survive. You always stay out of the park. Bad for your health. <laughs> Crosser. Come on, Alley Cat! And you've run out of luck. Ah! Alley Cat. Ah! <laughs> this animal is aroused. Karen Manny. She's awesome. Looks great. I want to see this. I'm going to give it a... That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Agreed. I think the whole concept of, uh, you know, renegade women prowling the parks to just, like, find yeah. prowlers and kick their ass is a badass concept. It is. So it is I think great. it's rad. Excellent. Yeah. Rad. Whoa. A lot of and awesomeness. What? Motion picture from the greatest book of traffic citations ever written. Cannonball Run 2. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> See your life. You want cars. Didn't we watch Cannonball 3? Or what was that? It was something weird. It must have been one. Yeah, we did. But then there was something else that we put on that was like. A third one that we were like, what is this? Like, didn't it, was it, or maybe it was uh, Mark the Martian telling us about the third one and how, I don't know. I feel like, dude, Dean Big shout out to Mark the Martian. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Mark? Wow. I did recently hear that, like, you know, they've got the rat pack in these movies, and then they filmed uh, Frank Sinatra like all on separate days, and so you'll never see them like, at the same time. <laughs> yeah, right. They couldn't stand but each other. They try other. and edit it together to where it seems like they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Go ahead. Burt Reynolds, trap. Yeah. Yeah, it's red. Yeah. yeah. And there's Dom DeLuise. I was just talking about him recently. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. That's awesome. Fast cars, comedy, hijinks. Yeah. The beginning is a very delicate time. 
Know then that it is the year 10,191. In this time, the most precious substance in the universe is the spice, spice melange. The spice extends life. The spice exists on only one planet in the entire universe. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. Toto does the music world where the unexpected. Many dangers exist on Arrakis. The unknown and an incredible secret has been kept on this planet. And the unbelievable meet. I see two great houses. Feeding. Where kingdoms are built on Earth that moves. We have worm sign the likes of which even God has never seen. Both those Scott guys are twin peaks. Fire. The prophecy which will cleanse the universe and bring us out of darkness. Where a young warrior Why? is called upon to free his people. A world that holds creation's greatest treasure. He who controls the spice controls the universe. And greatest terrors. <laughs> A world where the mighty... This is genocide. The deliberate and systematic destruction of all life on Arrakis. The mad. <laughs> I will kill him! Stay. I will love you forever. And the magical... Father, the sleeper has awakened! ...will have their final battle. Show the slightest pity or mercy! Emperor, we come for you! Doom, a spectacular journey through the wonders of space and the mysteries of time. From the boundaries of the incredible to the borders of the impossible. Now, Frank Herbert's widely read, talked about, and cherished masterpiece comes to the screen. Dino De Laurentiis presents Dune, a world beyond your experience, beyond your imagination. You want to go first? Really? This is the first movie I ever saw in the theater. Uh, I was like three years old and um, my parents took me there and I started crying and I had to be I had to be removed from the theater, um, which was great, you know, but it was the part when the giant thing in the tube looks like a big vagina started talking. It freaked me out a lot. Uh, I love this movie so much, like not only for the reason that I just said it being my first movie, even though I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, I love this movie, man. And it's so good. I just... The thing is, is that when you watch it now, pretty much the first half is like really cool. And then for me, it just turns into this like long battle, like and after the part with the sandworms and they're like going into the Harkonnen, whatever, like I just I, I always am like I start to phase out. So yeah. I lose yeah. interest in the movie and there's an extended cut. It's even crazier. And that's the one I would watch when I was a kid. I thought it was better, so I'd always watch it. And now I'm not so sure. But yeah, like Sting, the knife fight with him, and all this stuff. I haven't seen the new Dune movies yet. I really want to see them. Anyway, this is like, if I could give this something higher than Rad, it would be that. But Rad. Rad. Wow. What a classic. What a, like, it's just so, like, prevalent and everybody's talking about dune talking about dune it's visually disgusting to me like all the boils on his face it's like which is just so part of it right i mean so that just makes it even better got visually it. disgusting you're just it referencing is, guy's face it's just the one guy's face i don't like it it makes me upset yeah. he also was myself. like popping them in the movie too it's just and he's like gross. floating around and there's another dude i forget the actor's yeah. name but he's one of the best actors he's he's the dude with the giant eyebrow i mean they all have big eyebrows but He's the one with the, he's like the scientist dude. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So what did, did you say? Ew? 
That was what you said? Ew. I'm changing at you. Yeah. <laughs> you got in the trunk. You don't want to look in there. This is our last one for 84, Marcus. Oh, okay. We have one more. It's been good so far. Suppose you're thinking about a plate of shrimp. Suddenly somebody will say, like, plate or shrimp or plate Isn't of that shrimp. Bob out of the and blue. No explanation. No point in looking for one either. The Joker's it's all number part of a one. cosmic unconsciousness. You read a lot of acid, Miller? Back oh, and that's. Days. What's the thing? Put it on a plate, son. You'll enjoy it more. Couldn't enjoy it anymore, Mom. Mm-mm-mm. What is his name? Bill Paxton? Is that what you said? Huh? What's this? That kid? I think it's Emilio Estevez. That's what it is. Yeah. But the other guy was Bob in Joker. <laughs> or, I mean, <laughs> Batman. Yeah. Charming friends you got there, Otto. Thanks. I made it myself. I had a lobotomy in the end. Lobotomy? Isn't that for loonies? Not at all. A friend of mine had one. I do my best thinking on the bus. That's how come I don't drive, see? You don't even know how to drive. I don't want to know how. I don't want to learn, see? The more you drive, the less intelligent you are. <laughs> uh, I saw this once when I was younger, but I don't remember it at all. Harry Dean Stanton, another uh, classic dude there. Uh, I'm going to go with, um, I don't know, meh. Nah. Kind of yeah, I mean, I, I that's such a weird preview because like the little quips and like Emilio Estevez looks cool and it was funny and uh, hard to follow the through line of what's happening at all. So I, I'm just not, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, I got to trash it. I don't want Ooh, to. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I have to though. So, but that's it. That's our list from 84. Trash, trash it. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. Let us know what your favorite was. God, that's kind of a crazy list. Tell us which one is the worst. We yeah. want to know. Until next time, you know what you're going to do. You're going to keep that shit retro with by hanging out with Emilio Sheen later on. Mm -hmm.